On this episode of The World's Strictest Parents, meet the Robinsons from Georgia. Baby sometime this week. A family of goat farmers <laughs> whose livelihood depends on pulling together and back-breaking work. You grunting, Tori, you acting like you work. For the next week, they'll take in two self-absorbed teens. Goats really don't care if you wear makeup. But will life with the Robinsons? Damn, we gotta get this all too. All right, and a diet of hard work. Well, son of a and family values be too much for these teens to stomach? I'm Antonia, I'm 17, I'm from Runway, New Jersey, and I can always get what I want. Antonia. Yeah? Can you help me, please? No, like, I'll help you later. Just get the dishes in the dishwasher and I'll start. I'll do it later, just relax. Antonia's just very self-centered. Everything is revolved around Antonia. Antonia has so many clothes, we had to build another closet on her wall. This is just stuff I don't wear. Probably wore it once, but I won't wear it again. They usually end up on the floor. I don't really need them anymore. Put your clothes away! I will. Let's go. Yeah. We're having company. Put your clothes away. You more or less have to do everything for Antonia, down to cleaning her room, even. Clean your room. If you leave, I'll clean it. OK. OK. Still not going to clean your room. I really don't know what to do with Antonia anymore. I really don't. She has to buckle down and realize that money doesn't grow on trees, and she's going to have to start focusing more on making a life for her and deciding where she wants to go and what she wants to do. I'm Miles. I'm 16, and I'm from Weston, Florida. When you're walking through, just pick it up and bring it Why can't, instead of just Why putting it there? Why do I have to ask you? Just do it out of the kindness of your heart. <laughs> no. OK, bye. Awesome. Miles, it makes me feel disrespected because I don't think I ask for much. My rules are they're cut and dry, they're simple. Just follow them. You never need to ask me to do your clothes. You never need to ask me to make you a meal. It's your job. I could help her out, but I don't. Just don't care. Oh, someone's at the door. Go get it, woman. Okay, that's your job. Come on. I mean, I've told my mom to f off. I've called her like a psycho. Shut the hell up. Miles' grades have come down quite a bit. I'm really getting aggravated right now. It's something that I know is so simple for him. I definitely half-ass school. I hate when you stand there and stare at me. Get out. Holy fuck. You can have fun standing there and staring at the nothing. I'm afraid that because he doesn't realize what he has, that he's setting himself up for failure. OK, shut up. I hope that he realizes that he's got so much good in him and he's got so much potential that it'd be a shame for him to waste it. This family isn't going to change me. I, I just don't care. Please be good. I'll miss you. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that when she comes back, she really appreciates what we do for her around here, and she just can't keep taking. She just can't. Definitely going to miss my closet and not having it available to me 24-7. But hopefully my suitcase is enough. My name is Jeffrey Van Robinson. I live in McDonough, Georgia. My wife's name is Yvonne. My daughter's name is Tori. What time are we milking? When we get down for breakfast. Having a family farm and expecting to get any returns from it is a 24-7, 365-day job. I'll be back. I'm going up front. If you don't pull your weight around here, things won't get done. Don't have a long conversation with the pigs. <laughs> Just get it done and come back. Yvonne is the queen of the castle. So we the baby's separated today. She's in charge. I want to clean the, the rabbitry before we do that. OK. People call me the goat lady. People will say, oh, goat. You know, why would you want to be called after that? Well, that's what I am. That's what I do. I run a goat dairy. I feed all of the goats, the rabbits. I feed the cats in the barn. I have a million chores around here, but it's not work to me. This is what I love to do. You want to feed babies sometime this week? Uh, you can do what's expected of you, or you can do what's expected of you and not be happy about it. It's going to get done either way. <sighs> 
You grunting, Tori, you're acting like you work. If you don't want to do your part, you're not just hurting the rest of the family, you're hurting yourself as well because you're all the same team. You look like a vulture sitting there. <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> I hope that maybe through this week with these teens that we could possibly instill in them that there are other things than just striving for materialistic gains. This food nourish my body, crush me, pray, hey, amen. I'm Miles. I'm Antonia. Nice to meet you. When Miles first introduced himself, he definitely wasn't what I expected, but I wasn't disappointed. And he definitely seemed cool. I feel like we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm leaning towards a farm. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be pissed. What else we got to do? Rabbits? What else? Got to put the rabbitry back together. We've got to sex babies and separate them. We were behind on a few of our chores and we needed to catch up, and so we're just really anxious to meet these kids and, and get on with the week. Is it gonna stay light long enough? I need to plant onions. Oh, there's a lot of things I need to do. Dairy goats? <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, great. I'm milking goats. <laughs> awesome. When I first saw the mom, she was wearing overalls, and Last time I saw overalls was maybe Halloween. I mean, I'm Yvonne, or better known as the Goat you. Lady. <laughs> nice to meet Hi. you. When Yvonne introduced herself as the Goat Lady, it kind of weirded me out. Like, I don't know why you'd want to refer to yourself as that. Miles. 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 Antonia Miles. and Miles. This boy has never done any hard work in his life. And the girl probably will be more comfortable in a mall than she is going to be with these animals. You're welcome to put your bags you know, over by the fireplace. Probably be the best place for right now. All right. You'll be sleeping in here with Tori, and you'll be sleeping on this couch. When I first saw the house, I didn't know how two other people were going to fit in it. It's kind of small. Have a seat. Yvonne so. and I want to sit the kids down, explain a few of the rules around here. Um, I, I treat people the way I want to be treated. I tend to hand you back what you hand to me. I don't want to be lied to. The mom definitely looked like she just looked like a big, strong kind of intimidating, so I definitely think she wears the pants. I don't like fake people. No fake hugs, no fake hand, you know, fish handshakes. None of that mess. If it's illegal, we don't tolerate it, period. Either of you smoke? No. No. Fantastic. That's the big things right there. Like in my head, I was saying, like, oh, like, she's going to be up our ass about everything. Church on Wednesday night. We'll go to church on Wednesday nights. And I saw you had a guitar, so that would be a wonderful thing. We were behind on our chores, so after uh, our meeting, we went right out and got to work and started cleaning rabbitry. Hello, little baby. Just sweep it up into a little pile, and here's like a little dustpan you can sweep it into. And then use this, and then scoop it up and put it in here. I'm making us do chores like on the first day. Like I think that was pretty messed up. All that needs to be swept out. Right away, I was put to work, and I was definitely surprised. And not too happy about it. What is it that like I'm sweeping? That's nothing but bunny crap. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me. <laughs> you asked. That definitely grossed me out and made me want to take a shower right away. Eh. I don't really like being around the animals because they smell like ass. This is pretty good, so we're done. After we've Finished cleaning the rabbitry, and we came in. With Vaughn was preparing the evening meal. We we're gonna have barbecue. Candy carrots, cream potatoes, and uh, barbecue rabbit. I was kind of like, whoa, what? Have either of you had rabbit before? No. <laughs> I was just outside petting them, and rabbit was on the table for dinner. I've never eaten bunny before. Looks a lot like chicken. Yeah, yeah it does. Yes, it does. It tastes like dark meat chicken. Yeah. I don't know if we'll butt heads when it comes to the not so pleasant things that have to happen around here. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Coming up, farm life tests the teens. Son of a as they discover who really rules the roost. You take it back and fill it up again until all of it's out of the pen.
How are you? Do you sleep good? If you have a farm, you cannot call in sick. If you have animals, they depend on you. In the barn at 8 o'clock. We're going to split chores this morning. Miles and I, we're going to feed the rabbits, and then he and I are going to go feed the horse and the pigs and the cow, while Tori and Antonio go help Yvonne with the goats. Someone's in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. oh. Antonio's funny. She's, she's putting on makeup to go out with the goats. The goats really don't care if you wear makeup. Farm life isn't for everybody. We make sure the animals are fed and taken care of first before we even have breakfast ourselves. Oh, so you ready for a hard day on the farm? <laughs> each, each one of them will get a scoop and a half. All of them? Yeah, all of them. I am kind of pissed that like we didn't even get to eat breakfast before starting chores or anything. This goat needs to go on that chai stream right beside the hay rack. At home, I don't do anything. I don't know if I get used to this style of living, but I'll try and make it work. Anticipating his food. No one's going to come and do it for you. You have to get out and do it on your own. Now, we respect each other, and we go out, and we work together, and, and, and we get our work done. Scrub it with your hand, dump it, and then rinse it and dump it, and I'll be right back. Okay. My boots are getting very dirty, so I'm kind of getting upset that I'm going to have to clean them. The pigs are fat, and they smell just like You do all this every day? Every day, twice a day. After only doing a couple of chores, I was exhausted. Then I was so hungry. Let's go eat. When breakfast came, I was really happy. If you got sit down time, enjoy it. And I wanted them to have something to eat, but there is a massive amount of work to do here. We're going to now clean the chicken coop. What do you do? Like, you take out all uh, the dirt and then you refill it? Yeah, all it? of it comes out. We sweep it, then we refill it. What is it? Just like dirt? Bird poop. <laughs> chicken coop smelled horrible. <laughs> Working here on the farm, you do get dirty, but we do work together doing this. It's a, the rewards are great. Stop it. Ta da. Sorry. Now, you take it back and fill it up again and repeat that procedure until all of it's out of the pen. Cleaning the chicken pen today was definitely my least favorite thing. That's disgusting. Oh, son of a. Yeah, overall cleaning the chicken coop sucked. They had done some yucky physical labor that's required on the farm. They were wiped out, but I needed some help getting some dinner going because uh, now there's five to feed. Have you ever peeled taters before? Peeled potatoes? Peeled taters? No. Well, he's never peeled a tater before, have you? I do, but not that good. Hey, you ain't got If I expected you to be good at it, I'd be sitting and you'd be cooking me dinner. Ivana asked us for help in the kitchen, and I'm not really used to that. Like, I've never really, really been asked to help. I feel like the work is never ending. There's just always something to do. I'm getting good. Oh, I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> Maybe if they see a more frugal way of life, and how it can be done, they will have an entirely new perspective. I'm telling you, if it tastes nasty, it's their fault. It tastes wonderful, it's my fault. Plenty. Can I just have like potatoes? Yes, you can have just potatoes and carrots if that's what you want. Family meals are very important to us. We're a close-knit family. Thank you for the food that we're about to receive. May it nourish our bodies that we might serve you in the areas you need us to do that. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Eating with the family was different. I mean, like, I don't do that at home. It's more of like, just eat where you want to eat. You could see in their faces that they were surprised that something that was that simple could be that good, and that they did it themselves. Coming up, oh, you the teen's lesson in rural living continues. Hey, you must not be working hard enough if you ain't sweating. And the Robinsons unleash the farm's toughest task yet. 
Damn, do we gotta get this all too? Okay, we have the next chicken coop to clean. Now we gotta do clean this one like we did the other one. I hate it. I just didn't want to be there. I just wanted to go back to sleep. Make sure this goes closed behind you because sometimes chickens might fly out. It smells so bad. At this point, it's one of the last places I'd want to be. It smells like me nauseous. One of the rules on a farm is if you open it, close it. No, 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 no. Stay on you guys. Do it. <laughs> They're paying attention on a lot of things, but they, they still can't seem to get the idea to close this door behind them. Oh, damn it. You got her, you got her. <laughs> they kept running. Oh, God. <laughs> then they would fly. Can I make a Come here, here. Son of a I don't know how to pick it up. <laughs> At first, I was annoyed that the chickens kept getting out. I'm going to break its little legs. But it was just a way to, like, stop shoveling. <laughs> I hate this chicken so much. I'd say we're done. Sounds good by me. You remember the studio guys made? Um, we're going to actually take that to the Davenport family. We made extra stew with the idea that they could share that with someone who they didn't even know. He's an amputee, and he's housebound. He doesn't get out at all. And this will be uh, a really good experience for you to see somebody that you know, can't go to the mall shopping and do all that kind of stuff. They just have to sit there. Maybe something will click inside them. And maybe they will, will see that helping other people is, is actually a good thing. And, and you shouldn't be so selfish and want everything for yourself. And if you, you share with other people, that, that means a whole lot more. We have brought you some beef stew. Oh. These two children here. Thank you. We have brought you fruit and honey oh, from the honeybees. Well, thank you. I know we will enjoy it. I think it's cool that the Robinsons don't have much, but they're still willing to like, give to other families that need it more than they do. Miles. And this that is Miles. Thank you. He had a big smile on his face. I mean, like, he was happy to see us, obviously. Well, do y'all mm -hmm. like it around here? It's different. Yeah. <laughs> a lot different. You know, I was growing up on the farm. And farm sure. work, I put the muscles on <laughs> That's what I told you. <laughs> They're definitely opening my eyes to realize that a lot of people have so much less than me and that I'm definitely taking for what I have for granted. Well, we really we appreciate y'all letting us stop by. We thank you and love y'all uh, for coming. And, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll thank you like for it. the meal. And God bless y'all. Yeah, I hope you like it. It does kind of put things in perspective a little. I mean, like, yeah, I am able to take out the trash, and like, he's not really able to do that. Well, let's go back to the farm, man. Feels good to help other people in need, especially when you're doing it like hands-on. But the chores never end, and I should have known that. Of all the jobs on this farm, the worst is cleaning the loafing area when it has gotten kind of bad. Miles, you know where the forks are, where y'all are cleaning the baby stalls? We're going to need them. It's mainly a huge litter box is what it is. You're going to take it from back here. You're going to hand it to me. I'm going to put it in there. It's very heavy, it's very wet, it's very, very aromatic in a negative way. We're making her a pile of It was just a massive amount of dirty old hay. The problem was is this was also a church day where we had to be at church at a specific time. But you must not be working hard enough if you ain't sweating, girl. We had to get this done if they wanted time to take a shower and clean up. And just think, this is only like, one-fifth of the area. Damn, do we got to get this all too? We're depending on Miles and Antonia to really, really chip in this time and, and help us get this done on, in a timely manner. Antonia, you want to help yeah. me out? If you want me to. They did a really good job of getting the point of they had to move. <sighs> all right. I didn't complain or even say anything. I kind of just sucked it up and did it. Miles, I believe you've got your second win. But I was kind of surprised at one point how hard I was working. Oh, man, we can do it. Look oh. at that. <laughs> Handle it the one time. Oh. There you go. Perfect. I actually did kind of feel kind of good that I was helping a little bit, and then she was noticing. OK, thank you. Yeah, think about the, like, the worst possible 
thing your family ever asked you to do, whatever it was. It can't be this bad, can it? No. Boy, we're, we're down to crunch time now. Antonia, you are doing good. I definitely feel happy that I helped him out. It would have taken them forever. So I guess to play my part in it. I actually see the bottom. That's pretty good. When you have a work experience as difficult as what these kids have been asked to do, y'all did a fantastic job. When it comes time to do something trivial, like emptying the dishwasher, little things like that, it's nothing. And Tony is going to go take a shower. what you sow. You do to others what you want to have done unto you. I don't like church or anything about it, but it definitely was nice kind of just get out of the house. The Lord Jesus is coming back. Yeah. I was actually pretty happy to bring my guitar. I was tickled to death to take them to church. Watching Miles playing the guitar with people he had never met before in his life till a moment before was absolutely amazing. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hey, when I first came here, I didn't know what to expect. But being on the farm, I definitely feel like they made me realize how actually important family is. Coming up. Like, what kind of chores might y'all have to do at home? What would you have to do at home? Yvonne lays it on the line. I'm going to have to teach y'all's mamas how to go on strike. But can Miles face up to reality? I don't deserve to be talked back to or to have to explain why and when I want things done. Who is that kid? Who's not that kid? <laughs> I definitely see that having a good positive attitude while doing things will make chores or just your life's just better in general. Watch your head. I give them a lot of credit for everything they do, just the work that they do, and I can't believe they do it every day. Antonia, could I get you to wipe the table off for breakfast, please, baby? I was really beginning to wonder what was the deal with these kids, because even under reluctance, there was still compliance. So how does y'all's life at home compare to here? Yeah, about the same. It really doesn't. Same. Yeah, it really doesn't. <laughs> same is just different. So, I mean, like, what kind of chores might y'all have to do at home? Like, what I don't would really you have to do any? Uh, None? Well, who does the dishes? My mom. She does everything the vacuuming, the dusting, laundry, cleaning, cooking. <laughs> just her by herself? I couldn't even imagine them not helping at home. So what about you, uh, Miles? What kind of chores are at your house? Who does the laundry and stuff? I mean, my, my mom. Again? God, man. I'm going to have to teach y'all's mamas how to go on strike. Mm. I mean, I tell you, half the family wears dirty clothes for two days and goes hungry, people start pitching in. Both of them are of the age where they should be taking a lot of the load off of the parents, and they weren't. And it was almost as if that concept had never occurred to them. I asked Antonia to come down to the milking parlor and help out. I guess I was just trying to reconstruct what Tori and I have. It's not that it's a quiet place, it's just the opposite. It's very noisy, you can't be overheard. So how's it been pretty much living in poverty for a week? It's been hard. Yeah. I mean, we don't have, we don't have fancy cars this time. It'd be a waste. Uh, Vaughn is very strong. She will tell you how it is, and she takes care of everything. She does so much, and I think it takes a strong person to do what she does. I remember being obsessed with makeup when I was a teenager. I just would not be seen dead without my hair just so and makeup just right. But all that stuff doesn't matter. I like to see what people really look like. I guess my goal for Antonia was to think before she goes back to her old ways. So what's your mom going to think when she sees what you've done? She's 
not going to think it was me. <laughs> There's just no bond like, you know, parent and child. There's it's just no describing it. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's there. Oh I think my mom just wants to know that I appreciate her, and I never tell her, and I think she would like me to. Every, everybody you care about, let them know. You are not guaranteed tomorrow. You're not guaranteed the next five minutes. Today is the present, and it's a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's all you got. It's right now. Make the best of it. And that's hard to do. On days like yesterday, it's a day from hell. But there might be a time where, you know, I'm by myself. Maybe Jeff will have passed away because he's a lot older than me. And days like that, I will cherish as if it were a jewel because, you know, we were together. The family um, doesn't seem to care about materialistic things at all. And they're just a lot better off that way. And I think I could be too. I got a letter from your mom. Thought maybe you might want it. You feel like sharing with me or no? I, yes. I understand if you don't. I'll get it for you. I kind of like to know where this cute kid came from. He was willing to share it with me, and I appreciate that. That's showing a vulnerability that not a lot of people are comfortable with. Dear Miles, your disregard for responsibility upsets me. I fear of you taking a wrong path and then you losing all focus of what is real and good in your life. I need help with certain chores. We are a family and helping each other is what we do. I don't deserve to be talked back to or to have to explain why and when I want things done. It really hurts my feelings. I know you think I nag you, but look on my end how frustrating it is for me to say the same thing over and over. I hate when we argue and fight. Your words can be very hurtful. This... <sighs> All right. You do only the minimum. That is not enough. You need to know to make a change. Your future depends on the decisions you make now. Find it within yourself to change for the better. Always know I'm here for you. I love you so, so much. Can't wait to see you again. I love you, XXOO, Mom. That would break my heart if me and Tori had that kind of a relationship. This place would collapse. What do you think now? When, when you have this back perspective of, of what you've been through this week compared to home. Well, what she asked me to do is like nothing compared to like what I had to do here, so. Just house stuff? Yeah. There's nobody on the planet that means to you what your mom does. Sometimes your mom doesn't even know it. And vice versa. Sometimes you don't know really how much mom thinks and cares and does everything for the kid. But we do. You are not responsible for your environment and the people around you and what they do. You are responsible for how you react to it your reaction, what you take and do with it. You're so capable. Kind of made me feel bad, like I didn't realize that I, what I was doing really affected her that greatly. But you're a fantastic kid, you really are. And if I don't get a hug, I'm gonna hurt you. You are, you really are. Had Miles gotten that letter from his mother earlier in the week, I don't believe it would have had nearly the impact Coming up. So I heard you got a letter from your mom. Jeff tries to reach Miles. You only got one mom. You go back, respect her, and you're not gonna have any problem. And Antonia receives a message from home. I love you, Antonia, and I'm grateful you my daughter. <laughs> Hi, Miles. Did you ever pull shoes off the horse? No. <laughs> Expression I got on Miles' face, something troubled him about the letter that he received at home. So I heard you got a letter from your mom. Yep. What'd you say? A lot of stuff. There's a problem somewhere between his mom and himself. I think it's probably just a lack of respect, and, and I think that can be dealt with.
You only got one mom. You know, I told my mama a lie one time about eating watermelons. <laughs> Stole them out of a watermelon patch. <laughs> she asked me if I'd been stealing watermelons. I told her no, but I had seeds on my stomach. So she grinned at me. And uh, I said, Mama, I lied to you. She said, I know it. <laughs> but I forgive you. So anytime you, you tell your mama stories, like blatantly lie to her, she's going to remember it. You're going to remember. You're going to remember it till you die. I understood what Jeff was trying to say to me. Like, I should have, like, a better relationship with my mom. Like, I should always respect my mom. But life is a wonderful thing, man. You're just starting on your journey. Now, let's do this. He's easy. You reach down to the bottom. You get, well, you don't go over to the bottom. And just sort of, sort of prop it right there on that. And take that little blue pick. Just scrape it out. Stand right here on the side of it. Yeah. This was an absolutely foreign thing to Miles, picking up a dirty horse's feet and cleaning it out. But he did it. There you go. Go all the way around doing that. I tried to take one of the shoes off. It's just like a combination of things that I wasn't able to do. I don't really have like the coordination, I guess. But I was able to trim its nails and like get the dirt out and stuff. That was pretty fun. But when you go back, respect your mom. Just, you go back, respect her, and just do what she asks you to do. You're not going to have any problems. We put him back and... Jeff is one of the coolest guys like you'll ever want to meet. Definitely one of the nicest. Yeah, just uh, set it in the, in the kitchen somewhere, like down in the sink, because it's kind of disgusting. OK. Everyone has a reason for, for acting the way they do, but sometimes you have to live outside of yourself for a few minutes. Everything's not about you. I got a letter from your mom. Just for you. You want me to stand here with you when you read it, or you want me to give you some space? You can say it's okay. okay. I was honored to have Antonia comfortable with sharing that letter with me. My Antonia, words can never express all the feelings I have in my heart for you. Sometimes I wonder if you realize how special you are to me. I feel like you take me for granted. And in return, all I ever ask of you are simple tasks around the house that you never seem to get to. All these materialistic things you think are so important really aren't. Please remember that there's only one you, and you really are a unique person. I love you, Antonia, and I'm grateful you're my daughter. <laughs> Appreciate me and the simple things. Love, Mom. Kind of from the heart, sounds like it. The hardest thing Mom said was to say, I don't appreciate her, because <laughs> I know I don't. And just for her to say it kind of like hit me hard. How does that make you feel about how you've been having your butt busted here? And I know. Like with her, it's just so easy to say no. And like, I'm just used to saying no. When she asks me to do something, it's not even a question. Like. I don't even think about doing it. So what do you think you'll do when you go home after having this experience? <laughs> after this, definitely mm -hmm. help her more. Um, the stuff she has isn't hard at all. It's just little stuff that it's how she needs. Yeah, she needs the help. I felt like it was a good opportunity to kind of drive home how very blessed she was. When you lose somebody, you don't miss you don't miss their designer shoes. You don't miss their nice car. You don't miss, you know, the products they used in their hair. You don't miss that part. You miss the person. You miss the way they smelled. You miss the sound of their voice, the way they talk to you, the way they say your name. That's what you miss. So. But thanks for sharing that with me. You didn't have to. That's a private, special thing between a mom and a daughter. You've been my mom this week, so. <laughs> I think emotionally, Thanks. the letter was a eye opener. It was able to chip through the layers that she'd put up to guard herself. Be nice, Tori. Love you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I'm not seeing it. Myself. Beginner's luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When we all sat down together as a family, I was kind of happy because I don't do that much. Oh, back to reality. <laughs> this family is always laughing, and it's just great. And everyone's always smiling and joking around. You want to hand them over now? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, you ain't won yet. Coming up. Who is this kid she's talking about? Miles must face the truth. I didn't know it hurt your feelings so bad. And Antonia comes clean. I never even just thought of like helping her. I was like, are you crazy? Like, no, never. Your mom's about 20 minutes away. Okay. So you might want to start thinking about what you're going to tell her when she gets here, because I'm sure she's going to have no clue what you've done all week. All right. All right. I need to tell my mom I'm sorry. Didn't realize what I was doing was hurting her feelings so much. And Tony, I just got word your mom's on her way. We got about 20 minutes. Really? To pack and be ready to see her. Oh, okay. I've been so stubborn and unwilling to help, and um, I definitely cannot wait to go home and just show her everything I've learned and tell her how much I appreciate her all the time. I hope he comes home and learns to appreciate um, that he really doesn't have it so bad. I don't think he realized how much he had missed her until he saw her. There's nobody who can reach you on that level like your mom. I saw my mom was happy because she's practically crying. I missed him. I missed him terribly. I can't let your mom go in first. <laughs> so um, the letter you wrote, I was really surprised. My first, I think the first thing I said was, who is this kid she's talking about? That kid's not here. I haven't seen this kid. He never refused to do anything. He's quite capable of things that I don't think he realized he is. I know, that's the thing with him. He's, he's, really, he's really capable cool of so much. I read your letter, and you said, like, it actually, like, you were, your feelings were hurt. Mm hmm I didn't know that. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like you're, you know, like, against me. Yeah, I do feel bad, man. I mean, like, I didn't know I hurt your feelings so bad. It's little things that I, you know, I, I think they're just little things that I ask, you know, and why can't he help me? Why? Well, I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings. I know you are. I know you are. Everybody loves their mom. Thank you so much. I am so glad that you have blessed us with your son for a week. Miles can go home and do this and the little things that he needs to do for her, you know, like helping around the home, and, and they'll have a much better relationship. Come here. <laughs> Look at this, Mom. This is for you. Aw, is it? It meant a lot. As, as simple as a flower is, it just it showed thoughtfulness from him. Thank and, you, and Jen. And y'all have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank You're you so much. I think the next couple of years are going to be crucial for him to wind up where he wants to be. See y'all. I'm really proud of you, what you did this week, and I loved getting a flower from you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's a pretty flower for a pretty girl, right? Oh. I'm hoping Antonia learned to um, chip in a little bit around the house and appreciate what she has and forget about things that she doesn't have. Oh, my God. Antonia had lit up like a, a Roman candle. Uh -huh. She was just so excited. Did you miss me? <laughs> She had a big smile on her face, which uh, really made me feel good. What's she like at home? At home, Antonia just takes care of herself. Um, she makes a lot of promises because I take her shopping a lot. Yeah, every day she needs a new shirt to put on for what? I don't know. You know, we make these deals all the time, and you know, she's supposed to help me do chores, and she never gets around to it. She's <laughs> getting the reward before she does the task. Yes, she does. To me, I feel sometimes the way I raised her, I spoiled her, and it's partly my fault. And, yeah. you know, yeah. but things have just gotten out of hand. When your mom asked you to do something at home, what would go through your mind? 
Hey, I'm sorry. Actions speak louder than words, mm -hmm. but words start it. Mm -hmm. Everything you have been doing for me, and I didn't even realize it. Um, never even told you how much I appreciated it. And now I actually know, and I want to tell you more. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice thing to hear. Yeah. Going forward from here, tomorrow, you know, the past you learn from it, today you enjoy and you prepare for tomorrow. Well, it's been fantastic meeting you. Uh, you. It has been fantastic meeting you. you. She has been a you true so much. I think Joan's going to see a change in Antonia when, when she comes home. I, th I think she's going to discover that she has a daughter that will actually help her. Do you want me to take something? Oh my God. Yeah, she's got it, Mom. I got she's it. Got I it. see already. I'm, she you has know. got it. It just seems to me now that Antonia grew up, she matured, and she's not going to be so self-absorbed anymore. Thank you. You're very uh, welcome. Safe trip. This family taught me so much, and I definitely want to put that into my normal life. Very happy to see you. I think we have had a small chance to make a very positive impact in the lives of two young adults.